Hello everybody, welcome to the 8th part of my practice series on Backgammon Galaxy. As always, uh, if you like the content, press the corresponding button please and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's see if I can find myself an opponent. Okay, here we go. Against uh, Halil Kalili. Okay, double fives, good shot. So I guess I will just hit two checkers. Can't be that bad. And this should be a strong cube. Blitz him opportunities. I think he should have take. Yeah, I would have taken as well. Still lots of work to do. If he gets the anchor, he's doing fine. Okay, hope that he doesn't roll a 5. So Blitz is still on. Yes. So now I need more material. Six four. Where do I hit? I rather want to make my three points. So I guess this. The other thing is, yeah, yeah. I should. I think I should make my three. Try to make my three point first. And keep him from anchoring, of course. Another cover. To the bar and now I will continue get material down to finish the close board which I just did that was nice okay So six four virtually forced everything, otherwise I would have th thought of clearing my six point for safety reasons, but uh, no chance of doing that. Because I'm basically guaranteed a gammon if I don't get hit, so but he came in with double sixes, so nothing interesting here. But I still think his take was correct. You saw how often he had to dance for me to complete the closeout. Okay, good start. I don't think so, uh, with the race even, basically, I wouldn't have slotted, could be correct. Maybe I could have hit on the ace, but feels a bit like an overplay. But at least I should have thought about it, hitting on the ace with the idea of keeping him from covering his five point. And that's a great shot. So now I'm in the perfect game for the score. No gammons. Uh, the only downside is it's it's just really boring. Not good for a video. But so now 11 pips. That would be a cube uh, for money. He can take a little bit more, so it's a 10% lead, 
So it should be on the cusp at this score, 11 pips. But I think I can take another roll here, see what happens. Okay, that happened. Glad I didn't cube. Okay, so I want to put checkers on my five and four as well. I mean, the ideal distribution would be seven on the six, five on the f on the five, three on the four. Maybe I shouldn't have played one to the four, but the ideal distribution is still possible. Okay, so now it looks fine. Race is close. I'm a favorite, but of course nowhere near cube. Now maybe we are getting there. Yes, definitely. I don't think he has the 20% or 22% that he needs and he doesn't think so either so now I have to be first of all I shouldn't cube not even consider cubing in early game middle game positions where there are gammons so in these type of positions, cube is dead for me at the moment. And of course, he should cube very aggressively. However, doesn't look like that he will be getting to a cube very soon. Uh, so, I think I want to play with an extra cover for the four point. Yeah. How bad can that be? Yeah, this could be all over not a too interesting match, but what can you do? So I want to make my bar point. So the builder is clear and then step up with my back checker, I think. So I guess he should play six to five. Nothing much to lose. We're probably thinking about making the deuce point. But yeah, I think I would hit on the five. How bad can it be? Okay, he's making his deuce point. I mean, we will see this in the analysis. Yes, I just jump out. So still not thinking about a cube. Winning too many gammons here. So now, I mean, I still really want to make my bar point at this stage so that he cannot run out with the back checker on the 24. However, I also don't want to take any risks, so that looks like a reasonable compromise. Some builders trying to get the checkers home. Not many shots. I mean, if I never make it, it's not a disaster either. Thing like this. This is five two six two. 
if I play like this, that's six five double sixes only. I don't know, maybe I play like this. Okay, don't see why I should leave any shots. I think he should come out. And no matter what he does, I think I'm still too good to double because I don't see any shot leaving numbers here so yeah I would have come out so one two three four maybe preparing to clear the eight yeah so that's the problem but uh, now he has to break his board. I mean the problem of not coming out. Six is clear. I don't think I can hit loose. So then the three is clear as well. So yeah. Bad spot for him but he just has to keep his anchor. And even though I have some shot leaving numbers now, I will continue to play on for the gammon. So that's actually a good shot for him. Again, I think he should come out. Yes. And I think I still can roll. I have to be a bit careful. I mean, if, uh, if I cube, it's a pass. But yeah, I could roll something like 6-5, which is really bad. But his home board is broken. I think I will take another roll. 6-4 is harmless. But uh, now it feels like gammons have gone way down. I think I should simply cube this and cash and be happy if he takes. So I will just double here. I mean, uh, quite a few sixes uh, that leave a shot, and if he hits me, then he's back in the game. And you never know, maybe he is desperate enough to take this, which would be a mistake. No, he doesn't, which is the prudent route to take for him. So we are at 6 nothing Crawford. I'm not concerned about losing a German, really. However, I th I'm also not concerned of winning one, so I think I just make the running move. I know for money it's uh, basically the, the same whether you run or make the deuce point in this opening situations situation so okay let's concentrate on this one here guess I have to bring two builders down don't see much else to be honest six five okay so let's hope for the best he has many hits but if he misses like he does, then I'm in okay shape. And now I don't think I can leave him anything. So 11, 9, 13, 10 is too risky, too many shots. So just play like this. 
and hope to roll something better next time, something more constructive that is. Yeah, that looks constructive enough. Uh, the other option would be to just clear the mid, but that somehow feels wrong, even though let's think this through a little bit. This I'll get into trouble with uh, some sixes already or a roll like 5-1 so the thing here is the my biggest problem is my midpoint that's the point I want to clear so why not clear it right away and um, I've got uh, plenty of builders to make the five point next time or another inside point for that matter. So I think that's better. So he should stay back. Okay, that's all really easy going. I don't know what happened here. Looks a little bit oh, okay here. I got the board back, so let me um, look at this. Is there any reason not to make the five point and uh, the deuce point instead? I don't think so. I'll just how bad can it be to do this the natural way? Of course, now he has a chance to anchor. Shall I clear something? Nope. So now he's got the anchor, so that is maybe why I should have made the use because now I can see it. So that might have been a little bit careless. Yeah, I will minimize shots, of course. Got lucky here, but. Still a long way for me to get this home. That helped. So, 3 1, 3 1, probably. Yeah, looks okay. F2, great shot, clears the 8, so. Looks good. So four is clear and I cannot take the checker off. Try to pre prepare my, well I shouldn't take the checker off. Try to prepare to clear the six points. So now I can take two off. But I guess this might be safer that leaves shots on two high numbers. So that's nine numbers. So this is only six four. Do I get some checkers off? I don't know. I will take the checkers off. Okay. 2 1. So now he's running out of time. Five. That's the safest. So I will do this. And hoping for another roll without the juice, I said, but that's a harmless juice. Good shot for him. And so he can still stick around, but I 
think we are nearing the end. Yeah. Well, not the most exciting of matches. So let's see how I played. Okay, that was good. So, even though it was not super exciting, of course I will post it. And let's have a quick look at, at the XG analysis. Okay, here's the plus plus verdict. And yeah, really good match from both. Uh, and But that is in part due, due to the fact that uh, this match wasn't too difficult decision-wise. So not too many tough spots. Uh, for example, the first game just a straightforward blitz without any accidents. Uh, you can see the cube was correct. Uh, rather close the decision. But I just have too many market losers. Not to cube, my equity is not very good, but uh, it all went very smooth. The next game, that was just the race. Uh, yeah, as I expected, he shouldn't have slot on his uh, second turn. Uh, he's ahead in the race, escape with one checker, so... That was a mistake, but I really don't think nothing more to talk about in game two. Game three, uh, yeah, there's one blunder. Here we go. Uh, I would say I carelessly uh, played double force because I didn't even consider just making the inside point instead of hitting in the outfield. So I just should have made the uh, both points, rock solid, wins more games, more gammons. So that was pretty bad. And even hitting and going for the five prime to lock up the win, so that's the DMP play, would have been better. And yeah, my play of not making the four point nor the five prime was a big blunder. Uh, I don't think I even thought about this too much. I was just in the flow and the ironic thing is that like uh, a couple of days I wrote about it. Uh, like uh, I just finished the final chapter of the new book, To Hit or Not To Hit. And yeah, maybe, maybe I should show you. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Sorry for the delay. I uh, had to find it and forgot to press the pause button. Uh, so, uh, that's what, what I wrote like uh, two or three days ago here, hitting a second checker or making a point. I'm writing, quote, in my experience when faced with the decision whether to hit a second checker or make a good inside point, going for the lasting asset is usually better. So uh, I wrote it, but I did the other thing and I wasn't uh, paying attention. So you, another example of how the brain works, uh, sometimes not too well, but uh, what can you do? Uh, by the way, this is still unedited, so if you find lots of typos or bad expressions, that is completely normal because that hasn't gone to my editor yet, but uh, it will soon and uh, I think I can make it uh, with the book uh, until May, but we'll see. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry for this uh, uh, into a little bit bumpy interruption. Uh, it just it just came to my mind that uh, it's just uh, 
a strange thing uh, to see myself making such a mistake, uh, even though I wrote about it a couple of days ago. Uh, what else do we have? Maybe some of his decisions. Yeah, that is the one that I criticized already. So, um, yeah, what does he have to lose by uh, attacking on the five point? He'll lose uh, quite a few gamins anyway. I mean, you make the deuce point for money probably uh, when you own the cube, uh, reducing the gamins. But here uh, he should uh, focus a bit more on maximizing his wins or maybe like that. Yeah, he will certainly benefit more from uh, the high wins, uh, the extra wins, then I benefit from my increased gammon wins when his play doesn't work. So, and that was the other decision that I criticized. Uh, he moved inside and you saw that he got into trouble because he couldn't uh, run with the, the, his back checker from the 24. Um, and he had to break his board, so he should have just tried to avoid that by jumping out. So that was the two-way game. By the way, the cube was just on time. Uh, Gammons reduced to like 6%. Uh, one roll before, when I still had the chance uh, to hit another checker. You can see Gammons now at 15 and it's still way too good, but I didn't hit. So then I had to cash, so that was all fine. Crawford, was there anything interesting in Crawford? Okay, I should have stepped up. Um, yeah, some duplication, like uh, I see 5-3 is duplicated. Yeah, but not a big deal. And here I should have taken the risk. That is surprising. Um, but it's no big difference. Uh, so that indicates that after my play I'm just leaving too many shots, but uh, I rolled double sixes to repair everything. And you can see this one I got right. Um, just clearing the midpoint, which is my main goal, and leaving a flexible position is best. Yeah, and after that, I don't think... No, I played the bear off perfectly, I can see. I mean, not that it was an especially difficult bear off, but uh, that all went fine. So, nothing more to say about this match. And, yeah, as always, Please press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you like the content and until next time.